Although the Sun and Moon series has actually officially ended, you have to admit there have been some amazing expansions across this entire series. We're talking about Burning Shadows, we're talking about Cosmic Eclipse, we're talking about Unified Minds, Unbroken Bonds, Team Up, Shining Legends, Dragon Majesty, Lost Thunder, Celestial Storm, the list goes on. And never forget, there was Detective Pikachu that came out as a movie as well. And not only that, there was a card set released for the movie specifically, guys. So let's find out what actually is the best set of Sun and Moon, because there's a vast, vast range of different special cards. And a lot of it is amazing artwork as well. But one stand above all. So let's discuss more about this. What is happening everyone? My name is Mystic Fluffy. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Hope you guys are doing well, wherever you guys are watching. Alright, so in this video I'll be talking about the best set from the Sun and Moon series. You have to admit, Sun and Moon has actually just done a huge 180 for Pokemon. I mean, it kind of got a bit... Uh, a lot of people left the hobby, a lot of people got kind of uh, sick of Pokemon. Uh, especially during the X and Y series. Although X and Y did produce some nice sets such as Flashfire. Phantom Forces, but you know, there was Steam Siege that everyone did disliked, and it wasn't, it wasn't that good X and Y, and then you know, people didn't really enjoy it after that. So, Sun and Moon, they firstly introduced the Hyper Rares, which was really nice. I mean, there's Hyper Rare Charizard from Burning Shadows, which was the first one for Sun and Moon. Then we got the Reshi Ram with Charizard Hyper Rare. That's from Unbroken Bonds. And then lastly, we have the Hyper Red Charizard with Braxton from Cosmic Eclipse. Cosmic Eclipse being the last set for the Sun and Moon series. So that was a bit of a sad point for Sun and Moon, but at least they left it off with a nice bang. So Sun and Moon series, I'll have to say that it's actually comparable, if not better than the EX series, which is the first set they act, that Nintendo actually produced after taking over from Wizards of the Coast to produce Pokemon cards. And I mean, I would say that the Sun and Moon series is actually better than the other uh, series such as the X and Y, I think it's better than Black and White, better than Diamond Pearl, better than Heart Gold Soul Silver, but with this saying that the reason why is because there's Hyper Rares, there's the tag team and the full art trainers they're very popular people are going crazy about them the prices for those have actually picked up dramatically and it just seems like there's just it's, everyone's really into it i mean a lot of people said that hidden fates actually got people back into the hobby because it's just the shiny vault cards and it's also Charizard and Evolutions. A lot of it is from the earlier generation of Pokemon. So people actually connect with that more than the current set of Pokemon, which is the Galarian side of things. So I don't really connect much with the Galarian Pokemon. I definitely collect it more with like the Kanto, uh, the Sinnoh and all that. So there we have it with that. And yeah, some of them are just, it's completely amazing sets of cards. like. You know, Burning Shadows has the Charizard, then Lost Thunder has Lugia. Who doesn't love Lugia? And there's, like, and there's the Hyper Rare Lugia as well, and there's Rayquaza. And then we have, uh, what's it? Celestial Storm has the has Misty's Favor, and which is which features Misty from the original Pokemon set. And then you got Unbroken Bonds has the Hyper Rare Charizard with Reshiram, and it's a tag team, and it's got Charizard, super popular. And then you got Team Up, which actually features one of the most unique cards from Sun and Moon. If not like the entire like Pokemon cards history, we've got Team Up actually has the card of Latios and Latias, and that artwork is like one of the best I've actually ever seen. It's most un it's very unique because it has both Latios and Latias uh, that are shaped in the heart. It looks like it's, it's quite a romantic piece of card, and there's definitely a story that's been told there. And things like Team Under actually got its booster boxes reprinted, unlike the other Sun and Moon sets. They have they were reprinted a few times, but Team Up never did. But although I did see some uh, loose packs in the stores here and there last year, and I managed to get some, which I'm pretty thankful. I'm hoping there's a Latios and Latias tag team in one of those packs. So I'm just hoping for that. I'll be super happy if that is in one of those packs that I bought sometime last year. And but Team Up did, yes, yeah, so they had that, and then they had the tins reprinted. Which uh, the second uh, reprint of the tins has the Zekrom 
tag team with Pikachu, although there's no team up packs in there, which is a bit surprising. I don't know why they did that. Uh, so there's that, and the, every other set did get reprinted a few times. Unbroken uh, Bonds got reprinted, uh, Ultra Prison got reprinted again, and yeah, and there's like, although I'm not including the whole eight sets, there's Shining Legends, Dragon Majesty. Shining Legends has like the Shining Pokemon, it's just uh, Ho-Oh, there's Lugia, there's, um, there's Rayquaza, uh, there's Mewtwo, which is really nice, and there's the Mew that I definitely want to get my hands on, the Mew. I think that sells for like a hundred bucks or more, just in raw near mint condition. But if I didn't include the whole SS, everyone would definitely it would be a given. It would be a given. Like everyone would say, Hidden Fates because Hidden Fates got people back in the hobby, and it's got some really good sets. Although I said that, and yeah, and it's been reprinted so many times. And even though it's been reprinted so many times, it's it's just gone when it's when it goes into store or when it's available for pre-order. Like EB Games uh, had it had it on pre-order, and it got sold out in like two minutes. I missed out because I tried to pre-order on my phone, but it's too slow. If I did it on a desktop, then I probably could have gotten some Hidden Fates tins, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Hidden Fates tins, Hidden Fates, just awesome set. But uh, anyway, so the actual best set from the Sun and Moon series, personally, I have to give it to Cosmic Clips. I think Cosmic Eclipse, uh, it was definitely under the radar. It, it was the last set from the Sun and Moon, and then Swan and Shield took the radar in 2020. I mean, that was, yeah, so it's, Cosmic Eclipse got printed in 2019, end of the year, around, I think, November or something, just after Unified Minds. So, the reason why it's the best set is because it's got some, like, just ridiculously really popular cards and really nice artwork. One, it has the Charizard Hyper Air with Braxton. And then there's the Ash and Pikachu, which is very nostalgic. And it kind of reflects back on the, actually, the first episode of Pokemon where Ash chooses, uh, where, where Ash gets given Pikachu from the Professor Oak. I think it was Professor Oak. And then, yeah, that, that was, uh, Pikachu was Ash, where Ash's starter Pokemon instead of like Bulbasaur. Uh, Squirtle and Charmander, so I think this kind of reflects that where Ash or Red uh, has Red is, Red is actually in the Pokemon card featuring Pikachu. Pikachu looks happy that it looks like he's being chosen for that, and so there's that one. And then there's Red, Red and Blue Full Art Trainer. Uh, what else is this? Piplop Full Art, and there's just really amazing. There's like Wishy Washy. Uh, what else is there? And this is, yeah, this is, it's a really, really solid set. And there's the Hyper Red Trainer that features uh, three legendaries. I think it's Arceus, uh, Reshiram, and Zekrom. So there's that full art of that. And there's like a statue with like Palkia, Daga, and I think it's Arceus, like in the statue form. So that's very unique as well. And yeah, so it's got some, it's, so that's that with Cosmic Clip, so that takes it number one spot. Although it's very hard to choose the other ones, like Team Up's pretty good, Unbroken Bonds uh, has also the Full Art Trainer, uh, Full Art uh, Blue, and then what else is there? There was Unified Minds with Mew and Mewtwo, and then yeah, so Sun and Moon has really amazing cards, but I have to actually give it to the Cosmic Clips set. I mean, there's also uh, Professor Oak that's in there, so it's got a lot of uh, things that re really takes you back um, to the original uh, vintage Pokemon or the earlier era of po earlier era of Pokemon. And I uh, see what else is there, but yeah, and there's also that Statland card that I really love. I've got one of those where uh, it's just like they're on the island and Statland is chilling with this uh, other trainer. And there's like sunshine beaming. So uh, cards are actually really, they actually tell more of a story than what they used to from like Wizards of the Coast or the earlier Nintendo series. So, uh, so they're actually giving more uh, attention to t detail with uh, the, the artworks of cards. So it really tells more of a deeper story, which I actually fancy. And then full art uh, is full art trainers, full art cards are uh, really, uh, gaining popularity amongst people that collect or people that invest. So that, that's, a, that's a little bonus for that. And 
What else is there? And there's also uh, one of the most popular ones that they got. Lily. Lily's super popular. Like the one from Dream. Dream League from the Japanese version of Cosmic Clips, where you could actually get it as a promo, which has Lily and Clefairy. They've gone for like ridiculous prizes. I think like a card alone is like over a hundred bucks. Um, but it would have been crazy if that if that was an English promo. That would have been like snatched up just crazy. And what was it? So last I checked, prices on Cosmic Clips, it's like. For a booster box, it's about 700, 600 to like about $700 for a booster box. Like Unbroken Bones is near that. I think Team Up's the most expensive one, but Team Up was been there for a bit longer. So it's, at least Cosmic Clips, it's, it's, the, it's still the newest, it's like the newest set from Sun and Moon series. So it hasn't really had time to really mature. So like like wine needs time to like just be there for a bit for like another another year and we'll see like maybe we'll see Cosmic Clips overtake the prices of Teamer. I definitely think that Cosmic Clips will be the most valuable, most expensive set from the Sun and Moon series. That's just my take on it. Like you can't really beat the artwork because one it has Pikachu, which is the most popular one, and it's got uh, the Hyper Red Charizard, and then people. Anything Hyper Red Charizard is just really popular and then you, you throw in a Pikachu and that's really crazy. And it's got like the uh, Piplup and Blastoise uh, tag team which is um, pretty cute. And so the thing, the thing that I love about Cosmic Clips is that it's like a kind of kiddish, it's kind of unique and it's got some cool cards in there so, so that's my take on that guys. And yeah, like so it's very hard to choose. Like Sony Man's got some really great sets. You know, people would say like maybe Team Up's the best set from uh, Sun and Moon, or maybe perhaps Unbroken Bonds. Unbroken Bonds was like the most popular one because one it had the Reshiram and Charizard Hyper Rare. But I think because Cosmic Clips produced another tag team Hyper Rare that it lowered the standard or lowered the value of the Reshiram Charizard from Unbroken Bonds because that did really hold value for a long time but don't get me wrong Unbroken Bonds is like a crazy good set as well but Cosmic Clips for my personal take on it deserves the number one spot from the Sun and Moon series besides Hidden Fates like Hidden Face is just crazy. It's on another realm, like Hidden Face. Like, you, you can't beat Hidden Face, although it's been printed like crazy. It's super, like, super popular. Like, can you believe that? It was EB Games, like, they they announced that they're gonna re, reprint, have, like, reprint, the reprinted version of Hidden Face back in store, and in two minutes, like that. And I missed out. I was like, I think I tried to order it in, like, two, it was like 12.32, and I missed out. Which is crazy, but and it's not that's besides the points, guys. So, uh, guys, uh, let me know in the comments below of what you think is the best set from Sun and Moon series. It's very subjective as well. So, but I'm trying to I did what I could to kind of give you like an analysis, and then but it's definitely hard to say which one is because they can go either way. One could be second, one could be third, one could be fourth. But this like pretty much all the Sun and Moon set was like pretty pretty good. It starts like maybe the Base, base set of Sun and Moon and then Crimson Invasion and Detective Pikachu probably aren't that popular, but the other ones are definitely on par. Like they're super crazy, super popular. But anyways, guys, that's my time. And as always, keep safe, stay out of trouble, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>